COVID hit nursing homes especially hard. Frail, vulnerable residents in close quarters made the virus especially deadly. SK got nine on your side's Craig Smith reports. Now AARP says nursing homes are falling short on complete vaccine protection. Nursing home residents are at such high risk from the virus. They were some of the first to get the COVID vaccines. A federal program arranged for pharmacies to bring shot clinics to the homes. AARP cites figures from the Medicare program that show in Arizona, 75% of nursing home residents qualify as fully vaccinated. And that's true for 78% of nursing home staffers. But immunity is fading from those shots given early last year. And AARP says nursing homes are falling far short on the boosters. It says only 38% of nursing home residents have had COVID boosters. For nursing home staff, that figure falls to 26%. AARP's and state director remembers how hard COVID hit before vaccinations were available. There were some horrible outbreaks, absolutely horrible outbreaks, um, you know, especially down in Tucson area. Um, and that's why it's so important that we get these booster shots. And I don't understand why it's, it hasn't been a bigger priority. When I saw the data first released, I was absolutely um, shocked that we weren't doing a better job. Dana Marie Kennedy says the Biden administration did not renew the nursing home vaccination program when vaccines became easy to get. But nursing home residents need the vaccines to come to them. And she says that has not been happening. AARP sent a letter to Governor Ducey urging him to work at the state level and urge federal authorities to push harder to get more COVID boosters in the nursing homes. She says if you have a family member in a long-term nursing facility, there are things you can do too. Now we talk to the administrator and the administrator should make this a top priority to go ahead and talk to the pharmacy that they already have a relationship with and have them come in and get these residents get the booster shot. And the families do need to sign off on it. But if you're a family, talk to the administrator and ask, has your loved one had received a booster shot? And if not, why? Craig Smith, KGON 9 on your side. All right, let's talk about our vaccination rates using our exclusive mapping. 9,635 new first dose vaccines reported to today statewide. That's trending up from the seven day average of 9,100 and the 14 day average of uh, just under 7,900 first doses. In Pima County, first dose numbers look like this. 1,768 new do first doses. The first doses uh, for a week ago, 1,841, so just slightly down. Cases, on the other hand, well, they are on the rise here in Southern Arizona with 2,475 new cases in the three counties of Southern Arizona. Statewide, we're seeing a record number of new cases in Arizona, a huge jump from the 14 day average. Our new cases as of today, 18,783, a brand new record, Heidi.